Hi, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing really well. Today, I just wanted to film a, a little quick video, which is the booktube reflections tag. So I saw Leanne do this from Leanne Rose and it just feels like a nice way to kind of like round out the last few videos in December. Obviously, it's my first year on booktube. I started in May, now it's December. And yeah, there's just some like nice little questions. I am going to do a more kind of like stats based reflection probably in my December wrap up or maybe as its own video kind of looking at you know like how many books did I read this year from what kind of authors all my ratings all that kind of thing but this is more of a sort of just a chill nice little reflection. The first question is did you reach any bookish goals? Um, so I had set my Goodreads reading goals at 65 books because I set it at 52 last year which is the first year that I properly used Goodreads and ended up reading like 61. So I was like, okay, let's do 65. I've read 100, over 150 books this year so far. So obviously I have surpassed that goal. Um, but to be honest, I'm not particularly bothered about that aspect of the goals, like the numbers of books. I would have always liked to have read 52 because I think like a book a week, if I wasn't reading a book a week, that would be quite like unusual for me. So yeah, I am obviously very happy with the amount of books that I've read this year. I think it's definitely down to the global pandemic um, and just having a lot more time to read. And I guess for me, reading's been a real solace and endlessly scrolling on social media I realized you know last year it just isn't something that makes me feel good and like sometimes when people ask me how do you read so much I'm like it isn't even that much of a conscious effort to be like I have to read this I read because I want to but it was definitely a conscious effort of looking at like how I'm spending my time so like pre-pandemic like on my commute to work which is kind of half an hour in the morning half an hour in the evening on my hour lunch break like what am I doing with that time and when the answer was you know I'm just scrolling through Twitter refreshing Instagram it just wasn't making me feel productive and good and yeah so I, I am on social media a lot less now gone off way off topic but yeah basically I think I've read so many because when this year has been quite difficult reading something that provides me with comfort whereas I know for a lot of people they've maybe read less because they found that their concentration was down. So I think it totally depends on the person. Um, but yeah, other goals. I mean, I guess when I started this channel in May, I always thought like the dream, which seemed fairly unattainable, would be to get to a thousand subscribers. And I've done that. So that's amazing. Like that's a really, that felt like such a satisfying goal to reach. I don't know, it just made me feel like, okay, you've put a lot of work into this and it's come to fruition. So that was nice. I guess another goal that I had that definitely came like mid part through the year was just like a realization that I could be reading more diversely and that like I wanted to read more diversely. I definitely think last year um, I was just reading a lot of like new releases, like the biggest books that came out. I was getting a lot of proofs through work and I hadn't really like delved into like backlists or authors who maybe got a little bit less attention I was kind of just like going with the flow and as a result I had like a way worse reading year in terms of how many books I loved than this year when I've just tried to be like it makes sense that if you read more diversely and I mean that in like every respect you're going to get a better feel of what kind of stories what kind of themes you really like reading about and you are going to yeah get more into your groove um but then like particularly I guess being like proactive in reading less white authors um, and more diverse in like that respect um, and I'm really happy with how that's gone like it's not like a pat on the back thing like well done you but like I say it's just been a really positive experience in terms of my enjoyment of reading um, and I think it's not difficult to take that little bit of self-reflection on like what you're reading where you're putting your money like how are you like educating yourself how are you finding the people that you're reading um, and yeah, I guess I haven't like done my stats yet, but I think I've, I'm aiming for like a 50-50 split really, at least with white to non-white authors. So we'll see how that goes, but I feel happy with like how that goal has progressed throughout the year. Number two is shout out any people that you felt really supported by this year. And like so many, like I say, this is, was my first year on booktube, my first year on like bookstagram. Um, and I could list like so many people who've been so supportive. Like I've made loads of great friends this year, people that I really get along with. And I am still working on that video of recommending other booktubers and um, that is in the works. But in terms of like people who I felt have like really supported me, um, obviously like my, from a like friendship level, like 
Kieran from Katie Books, CJ from CJ Reads, Hannah from Let's Talk About Books Baby and Jalen from The Bar and the Bookcase ha have been a very supportive group in terms of like they are my actual friends and we speak all the time. They're always really like, yeah, we all kind of support each other and I'm really lucky to have found them. But then also I'd say in terms of like bigger channels who've been so supportive, I'd have to say Simon from Savage Reads. Simon's been amazing. I'm sure like a quite a few people who are watching this may have found me through Simon. He was obviously a huge channel and he found, we did sort of know each other already, but he was just really supportive to my channel and it's made a difference. And it feels like I can, you know, I've gone to him with like questions that I have. If I feel like I need someone who's just like wiser and more professional and experienced than me. Um, and also April from Getting Hugger With It. She is just the most welcoming, nice person on booktube. Like I'm sure you've already subscribed to her because again, she's a really big channel, but just like, yeah, welcoming is the, the word, you know, she's just so supportive, really just a genuinely nice person. I love watching her videos, but she's also been like really, really supportive of my content and spoken about me in videos and stuff. And yeah, I feel extremely supported by them this year. Number three is what is your favorite video that you filmed this year? So I was thinking about this. I definitely think it would be one of my vlogs. Like I've really loved getting into doing like, they're not weekly vlogs because usually they'll only kind of span like a few days, but little vlogs where I set myself a challenge to read books of a certain ilk on a certain theme. Um, and yeah, I've just absolutely loved making them. I think like having for me, like the sort of person I am, having that sort of like structure to the vlogs and not just feeling like, all week I'm like oh should I be vlogging this like is what I'm doing interesting it gives me like focus to it and it seems like people have been enjoying them um my favorite one I really loved actually doing the a thousand doors readathon vlog I thought that was such a fun readathon that Emma and Megan Tamsin came up with and I really liked the way that vlog turned out I really which is interesting because the other one I was going to say was uh TikTok chooses what I read I'll link these both down below because I really love I think the reason maybe is that I really love vlogs where like I'm prompted to choose books I already have on my shelf and it's sort of like a bit of a lucky dip of what I'm going to get but I'm obviously already really interested in those books and then seeing how I feel about them I really like that as a structure um so yeah they're probably my two favorites but yeah all of my vlogs this year I've really loved doing. So four is name a video that didn't do as well as you thought um to be honest I don't really like have one particularly for this i'm not someone who i try not to get too bogged down in like how well a video is doing and um, when i got the youtube studio app and like if you upload a video and you're on your dashboard it comes up with like how your video is performing against other videos of yours and it's um very blatant like green tick means better white tick means okay gray means you're doing terribly and i think like potentially i just try not to pay too much attention because it can just feel a bit like oh like you look at it and it's like all grey and you put work into it and it's so kind of arbitrary because people watch it at different times and people will come back to it or you know there's plenty of reasons so I just try not to get too like bogged down by how well a video is doing my videos I have a good inclination of like what's popular what people like what's going to be watched by less people but that I still really enjoy making um I would say one of my first videos and like my first vlog that I ever did it's not that like it didn't do as well as I thought because like at the time I think I had like four subscribers so of course it didn't but I really liked the idea for a video I did like reading based on like reading books recommended to me based on different personality tests that I'd done so I did like um, a book that was recommended because of my Myers-Briggs um my Enneagram and then because I'm an Aquarius not that that's a personality type but kind of is and that was just a I was really like thought that was a good idea and it was a really fun video to film but obviously it's not one of my best videos by any means like I say it was one of my first ones and so it hasn't been seen by that many people which is probably for the best but I think that's something that I'm going to do again in the new year or I was thinking about breaking it into um, like one vlog reading three books based on my Enneagram, three books based on my Myers-Briggs, three books based on Aquarius rather than like putting them all into one video but yeah that's definitely a video that I want to return to because it was really fun and interesting to do but I just did it like super super early which is fine you know I was I was learning. Number five is what did you struggle with on your channel and genuinely like there wasn't an immediate answer for this which I think is probably a good thing because you know I do this like as a hobby because it brings me joy and because I like have loved booktube for so long and I like being a part of it and I've met all these really amazing people and I found out about great books so I wouldn't want to have this as like oh yeah here are all the things I struggle with because like I'm not doing it to struggle I think maybe like 
because I've been enjoying the vlogs, doing vlogs so much, it's just annoying that I've spent all of this time in lockdown. Like the vlogs aren't maybe what I would like want them 100% to be if it was normal times. Sometimes I feel like, oh God, I'm literally just sat in different <laughs> spots in this living room throughout a whole like four day vlog. So yeah, that isn't ideal, even like with the new Christmas rules that I don't wanna talk about because it's so sad, but like, I was like, oh, well, you know, I'll be going home and I, I'll be like actually able to spend time with more people and I can like include that. And obviously now that's not happening. And I do just like spend a lot of time by myself generally at the minute, which is something like personally I've struggled with this year because I'm such an extrovert and I'm such a social person. And now I spend like, you know, 10 hours of the day totally by myself in the house but then on the flip side being able to do this and actually vlogging has made me feel better about that on a personal level because i said this before it makes me feel like i'm speaking to people if i'm like vlogging if i'm filming um putting up a video and getting the comments and getting to like chat to people having bookstagram all of that stuff has made me feel i guess i'm not sure if less alone is the right word but i'm gonna sneeze it's kind of provided like an extra outlet for my like extrovertness and sociability. So I guess, yeah, it would have probably been easier to make better vlogs, I think, if we weren't in lockdown, but then equally, I'm grateful that I've had that during this time. Number six is what do you want to improve? I definitely say like just my editing skills generally, or like, so I film on my phone um, and I edit videos on my phone and I've loaded all my videos from my phone. My laptop's just really, really old and too slow to edit on really um obviously i don't have a well i don't have a camera or anything and for me it's just simpler because my phone is like very pretty new has a lot of storage to do everything on my phone but i do think that limits a little bit of some of the things i can do because obviously like on my laptop you've just got better capabilities for like music for like fancy editing and i definitely want to get better at like looking into how you do end cards i want to start using bookshop.org to put links in my description boxes so just kind of things like that i think that i want to improve and just generally keep like keep getting better at everything really like better at filming better at editing it's obviously like like i say it's a hobby and it's a thing that you're only going to get better at and learn more about the more you do it number seven is what do you want your viewers to know and i guess just like how much fun i've had this year and how much i love and appreciate like all of the comments that i get on my videos and all of the support like it's so amazing like this week Someone commented being like, I'd recommended a book, True Story by Kate Reed Petty that I loved this year. And someone was like, I read this because of you and I absolutely loved it. And I was just like, that is music to my ears. That is so nice to hear. Someone else was like, cause I have my, just had my hair cut and you can see, and I like show it in the vlog. And someone was like, you know what? I was worried about going short, but you've now inspired me to get my hair cut. And just like that human connection means so much to me and everyone being like, so nice. Like I haven't had one horrible comment to jinx it in the what? may to december like six and a half months that i've been on here like that is just mind-blowing like i do think booktube is a really nice corner of the internet anyway but i do also think that like everyone who interacts with me just seems to be so lovely and so positive and yeah it just like means a lot to me i'm really grateful for it okay so that's all the questions like i said it was just a short little tag i don't know it's like the end of the year isn't it? everything just sort of like slows down nice chilled video um i hope you enjoyed it i hope you have an absolutely amazing christmas i think i've got one more video going up before christmas or maybe even on christmas but yeah i hope you have a lovely time whatever you're doing um thank you again for like if you have watched me this year like i say it means a lot to me and i will see you very soon in my next one bye